So this is just a quick overview of the uh, Kish Grads Edmodo page. So once you join Edmodo, um, you'd be given a group code to enter. So you would click on the plus here beside groups and then click on join. And that's where you would paste the group code. And then once you click join, it'll add you to the Kish Grads group. So I've already done that because I actually created the Kish Grads group. You click on, this is your list of all the groups that you belong to. So if you click on the Kish Grads group, then um, any posts that are made, so if um, one of the teachers makes a post, if Ms. Black makes a post, if um, students make a post, then they would show up kind of like in Facebook um, with the oldest ones keep they keep going to the bottom, the newest ones are at the top. Uh, so the, the first post that's here is the one for the local scholarships. So if I were to click, you can add a link, and so I've added the link to the local scholarships, and I've also in indicated what the, what the password is for them, so I can get it right there. Now normally whenever you go to the site, it would be a protected site and they have to enter a password to get in there. Um, and basically this is what it looks like. So there's a slideshow at the the top, um, which you can, it's in Google Drive, so you can be edited if needs be, and that shows um, the information about the different scholarships. You can also look at them individually using the, the slide viewer. You can go down, and this is not complete yet, um, but you can go down and if there's a certain scholarship that they want to apply for, then they can download the doc file so they can fill it in in Microsoft Word, or they can download the PDF and print it off and fill it in by hand. So that is kind of the, uh, the gist um, of the site itself, but within the Edmodo site, <coughs> you can put alerts out, you can put assignments, so if you wanted them to hand in, say, um, the student information sheet, then we can add it as an assignment, and then they would fill it in and hand it in to you. Um, you could do a little poll, so they could do grad surveys and things like that, little ones in here, or they could do it like a, a quiz, set it up that way too. So there's lots of possibilities for this um, group, so they can include have a, a small group within it, so maybe they have a small group that they create for the grad class committee and then they just add those particular students in there and they can share things and work on different grad related, grad activity related things within the group, so there's lots of neat possibilities. Um, there's also a folders area, so if I click on folders then I just started this to give you an idea what you can do. Um, so I made one for UPEI, so if I click on UPEI then I added the links, so you just go add to folder and then new link and then you'd, so if I put in new link then I copy and paste the URL and then give it a meaningful title. It'll automatically put a title sometimes but I usually change it so it reflects what it is. So this is the UPEI homepage, a list of the programs and courses, um, undergrad requirements, <coughs> uh, application form, list of all the scholarships and awards, the scholarship application form, and other external awards that are for any university or college, and then university or residence information as well. So that's the kind of thing. So if they wanted to go back to the folders and then go look under Holland College, you could add all the different universities and so on. So that's the, the idea for the Edmodo group and there's still other things that I can show you um, but they can go in themselves and say if they want to receive email notifications or if they want to receive text messages or whatever and they can go in and check their Edmodo anytime. It's a free download for your phone. Um, yeah, so it's. I think it'll hopefully work well. Let me know what you think.